Welcome, good evening to another episode of Bocce Dome. Uh, this is where we talk all things bocce. Tonight, our episode is on juniors, our juniors in bocce. And to help me discuss the episode tonight, we have our panelists here of our lovely juniors. We have Nicole Samsa, welcome back. Hey. <laughs> Max Tricario, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you, Tony? You again? And we've got a, a debutant tonight from Queensland. Yes. You know, yeah. I hope I get this wrong. Fiducek? <laughs> Close enough. Janae Close Fiducek. Enough. <laughs> welcome, welcome Janae. Thank you. Good on you. Um, I guess tonight we just want to talk about the juniors in Bocce and, and I guess a bit of your experiences that you guys have had coming through the junior ranks. Um, we'll start with Janae tonight. You're our debutant. I think we'll go to yeah. you first. What got you involved in the game? Tell us a bit about it. That was actually so um, Marco Bunin, he's been involved yeah, with the sport for quite a while. Um, the Nationals came up to the Redlands, which is just around the corner from me. And so I just went with him to watch it and then everyone got just involved again and yeah, just started playing since then. Everyone was like, come join, come join. And so it felt like one big family and I just started playing. Yeah. It's, it is like a family, a bocce family. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. And that's one thing I felt, felt in the nationals last year, even though it was like all the states playing against each other, it didn't feel like that at all. At all. It was just one big family yeah. and everyone got along. It was just so friendly and it was really, really welcoming because I was really nervous, but everyone was so <laughs> lovely. I was just glad to see another girl junior come along. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Nicole was like, woohoo, like, us too. And that's good because really yeah, good. we do need a lot of a lot more female players coming through, so that's great. Yeah. What is it, what about yourself, Max? Um, yeah, so I, I started playing when I was like 11 and sort of loved it from the start. And yeah, it's kind of what Janae said before about how everyone from all the different states are friends. Like, um, I play, uh, with and against Nicole a lot and she's from New South Wales so we're kind of meant to be enemies because I'm from Victoria but it isn't like that off the court which is really nice and yeah I, I love the kind of family culture and how everyone's there for one another around Australia which is a really good part of playing Botcher. Were you surprised when you first started playing how many juniors were playing and how structured it was and how serious people took it? Yeah, well, absolutely for me, because I, I started playing just a bocce fun day at a local Italian club and it didn't seem structured at all. And I was like, oh, yeah, just give this a shot. And then they're like, oh, there's like leagues, there's uh, nationals, there's internationals. And yeah, that just blew my mind. And then I went to the first nationals and yeah, that was awesome. And then internationals, even better. Yeah, but I think the thing that really kept me like um intrigued was like yeah there 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 was a few juniors in australia um that we got to play against and they came from different states and everything it was pretty cool to like see like meet all these new um kids your age that came from around australia that played the same sport um but then it was even more interesting to find out um that overseas other countries like italy france slovenia they have so many more juniors than us and yeah it was it was really cool to to know that um coming from my point of view it i only started like, like playing two years ago and i kind of got introduced and i was just seeing all the um i guess older generations playing and wasn't really aware well, none, of, none of them are here tonight that's <laughs> like, say that yeah um <laughs> I didn't really, yeah, understand the junior kind of side of it. Um, and at our club at the moment, there's a few few of us juniors playing and then to hear that we could go to nationals was awesome. And then to see the amount of other juniors in other states was actually really kind of promising and really good to see. And it was good to see, like we even had some international teams represent at the nationals as well. And I thought that was really encouraging, even for our juniors locally, to yeah. see the international players. In actual fact, we had a gentleman, Victor, from Monaco, who was also here a couple of years ago. Let's just hear what he's got to say. 
coming to Australia was really a good opportunity. Like this, I could visit places that I haven't visited before, like Dubai, Hong Kong, and Abu Dhabi. And also, what was fine and great was play, was playing against friends and especially against players from Australia. And it was a good experience to play against them and to know how they played and how they lived. at the international level I guess not so much Janae but Max and, and Nicole both of you guys have competed at overseas what's what's the camaraderie like with some of the international juniors yeah I, I think it's wonderful so um, on the court everyone is super focused and competitive um, which is really great to see but off the court you meet some incredible people from all different countries um, I yeah, got some really good friends from like Chile, South America, um, Monaco in Europe. So just all over the place, you get to meet these incredible people who you play against. And then if you're lucky enough to represent your country again, you can see them at the next world championships. So you've got something really cool to look forward to as well as the playing aspect, of course. Mm. Yeah, um, I think the good thing about this sport is um, when we do go to compete overseas, we you do see the same faces and verse the same people and it's all just like one big family and um, you do develop some really good friendships and of course you go there to compete and do your best and try and win but um, it's also good to develop those friendships like especially for me um, partly because of our Slovenian culture and partly because of the sport. I like met one of my best friends overseas in Slovenia. Um, and it's really nice to have someone that you're that close with and you can, you have something in common, which is watcher. Yeah. So Max, you obviously do the throwing events um, for our state anyway. What got you involved? What, what was the draw card to start doing the throwing events? So I've always enjoyed running and sort of like physical exercise and kind of pushing myself there. And I saw the running event and it was just a really cool uh, event. It was fast paced. Um, a lot of juniors around the world and in Australia were doing it. So I thought I'd give it a go and just loved it ever since. It's the perfect balance of both the skill of trying to throw a botch of ball, but also you have to be quite fit to make sure that you can run up and down in those five minutes. Um, but yeah, it's just a fun new way that I never knew existed to play botcha. And yeah, it's definitely my favorite event by far. So what about yourself, Janae? Um, last time I saw you, you had just started throwing. Um, do you aspire to do some of the throwing events? Because they are pretty challenging. Uh, yeah, I think the challenge is half the fun, but like Max was saying, it is like a different way. It just seems really fun, fast paced, a bit different. Like a, it, it requires a lot of coordination, which I'm still perfecting, but it is something I am aspiring to get better at and um, yeah, I would like to do that. All right, we'll just wrap it up the discussion. I guess last question I'd like to ask everyone, just your, your favorite moment as a junior, um, any experience during a game or whatever that you remember and always will remember. Max? Um, for me, it was the first time representing Australia overseas. I was with my best friend, Felix, um, playing doubles against Bulgaria and we got our first ever international win. Uh, so that was definitely a big moment for us. Fantastic, that'll stick in the heart forever. Nicole? Um, I think for me, it would have to be um, when I played doubles with my brother, Daniel, um, at the Australian Junior Nationals. And we were reigning doubles champions for four years in a row against China. Um, so yeah, that was that was pretty special to keep our title every year for four years. 
Well Especially done. against a team like China. <laughs> they were pretty hard to beat. Well, don't stop there. Keep going. <laughs> and what about you, Janae? You haven't been playing long, but have you got a memorable moment that sort of always uh, brings a smile to your face? Well, definitely going to Melbourne to represent Queensland will be in the nationals will be memorable, but I will be holding on to the time I beat Nicole in the singles game. So oh, that's, <laughs> that's a win for me. <laughs> that's a win. Oh, well done. Well, that's that's actually a good win to knock Nicole. That's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs>this brings us to our last segment of the night to the what happens next segment um, where we looked at last episode's uh, video and uh, get the people to try to tap in and see what happened next at the, the end of it if we just go to the video now let's recap was unlucky. Nicole, you were obviously there with uh, Daniel, um, threw the ball, fell in the arc and jumped over the target. That's yeah. devastating. Yeah, it's it was funny. a pretty sad moment. Um, it was the quarterfinals against Slovenia and if we got that we would have been in a good position ahead in the game and um, looking likely to maybe make the semi-final but <laughs> what can you do? Mm. He would have been devastated. I hate to think what he would have been saying when that happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wouldn't have been happy at all. Oh, never mind. All right, uh, we'll go to this week's video and uh, let's take a look at it now. Okay, we just saw the final, the under 18 position throw last year. Um, we cut out the player who actually threw the ball. We want people to guess who it is, see if you know who it is, see if you can email it in and uh, get it right. Nicole Sampson will give you $1,000 for it as well. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> cut that bit out. <laughs> All right, that wraps it up for another night on the, in the Bocce Dome. Um, just like to thank uh, our panellists, Nicole Sassy. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you very much. Mad Max, thanks again for showing up. No, we don't so. have a nickname for you, Janae. We'll have to find one for you next time. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> you're, smiling. you're always smiling. That's a good thing. <laughs> all righty. Until we meet again in the bocce dome, thank you and good night. And just remember, if you're not playing bocce, you're not loving life. I'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>